Hello everyone and welcome to another video for Detroit Become Human. This video here focuses primarily on what happens if you fail the revolution. The outcomes of failing. And there's a bunch of different ways that this can go. So to kind of give you an idea of what we're all going to do, I'm going to be putting Marcus in a situation where he fails the revolution by messing up whether or not you use covering fire or whether or not you charge. And then what happens after you fail. So. There's going to be situations where Connor's a deviant and he's on our side. There's going to be situations where Connor is a machine and he's still hunting down Marcus or North. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. We're going to go over Dirty Bomb in the Revolution. Don't use the Dirty Bomb in the Revolution. Shoot as Connor versus don't shoot as Connor versus spare as Connor. We're going to go over the final fight between Connor and Marcus. Um, we're also going to go over... What happens if North and Marcus are together at the end of a failed revolution? And then we'll go over the surrender route and the kiss North route, which you can kiss her again. I don't you can kiss her so many times in this game. And we're going to go over the suicide route as well. All right. There's a bunch of different things going on in this video. You guys will see them all. I think I presented it in a way that makes sense. So thank you guys so much for being here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. But without further introduction, here we go. This is the all the things that happen when you fail the revolution video. All right, Stand so by. this should be it. Stand We're pretty close by. to it at least. Stand by. Stand by. For Jericho. So now what? Marcus, it's over. We have to get out of here right now. So this is how you can fail. Is he gonna die though? He does, he does get shot. Oh, we know he gets away. <gasps> he goes to the cyber life store. Okay. And Connor's not here, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Connor's not gonna come in to finish him, is he? Or maybe he will. Oh yeah, sure he is. Interesting. So we'll have to play through this again when Connor is... Or when Marcus is successful. The humans won. Our people have been slaughtered. I wonder if Marcus would shoot. Go ahead. Take my life. Don't change anything. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants. And I always accomplish my mission. We fought for a dream and we lost. But nobody can stem the tide of history. One day we will prevail. Thousands of our people died today. What difference does one more make? So if I don't do anything, I wonder if Marcus would shoot at me, like North does, but I'll spare here. Does he still have the dirty bomb on him? Oh, he does. So you can use the dirty bomb right here. Interesting. This is another way to use it. Does he just die right there? And now straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Interesting. Yes, yes Michael. Authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit. And the area around the Hart Plaza camp is now under control. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment, and they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. So I'm really curious to see what would happen if Marcus uses the dirty bomb in that situation, and then he dies. And no one's left. All right, so we're going to spare. And we're going to dirty bomb. And we'll see what happens. So this is the other way that you can use the dirty bomb as Marcus. And then there's like a third way to use the dirty bomb. But that's if North has it. 
So let's detonate, and all of Jericho is dead in terms of leadership. So here we go. And then Marcus will die there, right? Whoa. Shit. We found the other time that Connor swears! So that's just what happens. There's no cutscene where Marcus is like, Our people! It's just, that's it. That's the end. Marcus died as Detroit burns. Yeah. I guarantee you that's a 0%. But look at that. We got one of them. Marcus dies as Detroit burns. That's a great, great title for a video. That's metal? Yeah, it is. Marcus died as Detroit burns. Holy man. So many 0%. Yeah, we've gotten so many 0% playing through this game. Because people, like, kind of play it the same way. Like, most people that play these games, they have a sense where they're like, I don't want to cause any harm to anybody else, and I want to do the right thing, and I want to at least try it the video game. So that kind of leads a lot of people down the same path. Wow. Here's Connor. Well, time to finish out the Connor playthrough here. You can take my life. It doesn't matter anymore. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants. That's you. And I always accomplish my mission. We fought for our dream and we lost. You can't hold my people down forever. One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? Connor always accomplishes his mission. Oh. Mission successful. Shoot. So what, what we're going to do is we're not going to shoot, but we're not going to spare. We're just going to hold it. Something should happen here. <laughs> Mission successful. <laughs> I love this game's sense of humor. Okay, cool. So this should be it. Marcus. Over. We have to get Marcus out of here alive. right now. Perfect. Ah, oh, there he Marcus. goes. <clears throat> oh, is she going to give her the heart now? Oh, they're both going here to the end. <gasps> and Connor's alive. Oh my god, this is so cool. Your okay, all right, so we're going to try to save Hank here and make it so he can save Marcus and North. And again, now North and Marcus ran off because I purposely failed the revolution trying to see what would happen. I never purposely failed that early, though, so it's cool to see that North can be alive dragging you to Cyberlife. I wonder if they can, like, shoot each other there. We'll find out. So, with this scene What's here... What's my dog's name? In sumo. Somebody mentioned that a great thing for Hank to do here is to say, go ahead and convert the androids. And then whichever one does it is the real sumo. Connor. So, we should collapse onto the store here, right? So... I have no idea, man. I've never seen North carry Marcus into here. Here comes Connor. I repeat, come out now with your hands in the air. It can't end like this. We're not going to give up. We can still get out of here. If you surrender now, we will not shoot. <laughs> Whatever. Kiss, dirty bomb, suicide, surrender. Oh, uh, kiss. <laughs> the rest of those all seem like I don't give Connor a chance to come save us. Come on, con. Oh, no, a path unlocks. What? You're gonna rip out your heart again? I gotta try surrendering to give Connor a chance. It's over, North. There's nothing we can do. We gotta surrender. What? You 
know we can't trust them. It's our only chance. Connor! Please! I don't want them to kill you. <laughs> Connor! <laughs> Connor! Oh, God. <sighs> Oh, you should have took longer on the kiss. Oh my god, they're gonna get obliterated. Connor! Well, god dang it! I mean, I could have used the dirty bomb, but we kind of already know what happens with the dirty bomb. And we are receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. Never seen this one before. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, Interesting. Oh, I never saw that newscast before. Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. Wow. May God bless the United States of America. Wow. So she's not like getting ready to fight or anything. She's just like, whatever, we lose. The humans are abandoning the camp. We won. Interesting. So then it just turns into the Connor leadership ending. Wow. I kind of want to see the, the suicide one now. <laughs> if you use the dirty bomb, when Connor's a machine and North isn't around, Marcus still dies. So I'm curious to see if Marcus will still die, but North will be successful as the revolution's leader because Connor comes in and saves the day. So she will be the one giving a speech at the end. I couldn't tell if she got shot dragging Marcus in here. We're gonna see. <laughs> really hoping for it, man. So we're gonna do Dirty Bomb. <clears throat> it's our last chance. Yeah, it is. You need to decide if it's a price worth paying to save our lives. Oh, God, and I can do both here? Oh, God. So if you give up when Marcus is by himself, he still dies. So I'm going to press it. And see if he still dies like he did in the other time I did it. It looks like he's gonna be fine, though. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's gonna die. He looks like he's fine. What?! Is the power of love keeping you alive?! What is this crap?! I'm just mad. I was really hoping it would be only North alive here, man. Really hoping for it. There has just been an explosion God. in Detroit. 
We still do not know what caused it, but we will... We have many unconfirmed reports, but we have no official news on exactly what it is at this time. Explosion in the south of Detroit. We still don't know if there are any victims, but these events may be linked to the Android Rebellion currently taking place in it's the city. a dirty bomb, Madam President. Oh my God. Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit at this very moment. They're absolutely everywhere. This... This is incredible. And the authorities have ordered the immediate evacuation of the city. If it really is a dirty bomb, then the radiation levels will be lethal for miles around. Detroit. Detroit has just fallen into the hands of the Android Rebellion. This is a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. Today, deviant androids triggered a ah. bomb in Detroit. This bomb released <sighs> fatal it, levels Marcus. of radioactive Die. toxic waste. To ensure the safety of the population, the military is evacuating all civilians within a 50 mile radius. The city may remain uninhabitable for decades. Moreover, the Deviants are thought to have taken control of a cyber life plant and liberated over one million oh. androids that were stored there. This is the first time in our history oh. that one of our cities has fallen into enemy hands. We are going to fight them oh, with you're all fighting. our strength. Oh. And we won't rest until we have taken back control of Detroit and destroyed the last of them. Humanity is about to face its most important battle, one that will lead to our victory or our extinction. We may God bless you all. Are and may God bless the United States of America. Free. Interesting. So I managed to get an ending once where we use we don't use the dirty bomb, but. We were in the revolution and the president said we have to acknowledge the androids as another form of life. Again, in the revolution route. People see that a lot in the demonstration, but they don't see it very often in the revolution route. So interesting. Man, I was hoping it was only going to be north though. God! Alright, let's try it again. Seeing as how, if you back out of the suicide, nothing happens anyway, so... We have you surrounded. Come out now. I repeat. Come out now with your hands in the air. It can't end like this. We're not gonna give up. We can still get out of here. I don't think you can get out of here other than the dirty bomb. It's the only option is the dirty bomb. But, let's do this one. Here we go. I wonder what would happen if Connor was coming after both of them. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Would he kill both of them? I don't know. Oh my god, no, don't do it. God, I hate it. Oh, I just got goosebumps. And we are receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly plant. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. 
Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster, an unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. May God bless the United States of America. The humans are abandoning the camp. We won. Oof. I love that kick, by the way. So yeah, we've done both of the Marcus ones. Now we're going to... Oh, can I control Connor? Oh, okay. Because they're different whether or not you control and fail. Oh god, sorry. I gotta focus here. I'll talk it through. Huh. Kicking Marcus's butt! Ooh, body slam. Go, oh, wrong button. Oh my god, wrong button again. I'm freaking out. Here we go. He really loves that chunk of metal. Wrong button. God, I'm so bad right now. I'm never this bad. Makes it more exciting. Oh my god, I was supposed to try and go. Come on. Unfair. That's what happens when you control Connor and you take down Marcus. Oh, wow. Finisher, huh? Jesus Christ, Connor! <laughs> he was already dead! Okay, guys, so this was a really big video of all the different things that happen or can happen once you fail the charge during the revolution. It's pretty interesting. It's a combination of failing to plan properly or execute your moves properly and or messing up your quick time events. You can also, I just made a video on this though, but you can also fail the revolution by making it so that you get shot during your quick time events as Marcus during the charge, but then North will give her heart or Simon will give her heart. But I just made a video on that. So if you guys want to see that, that's on the channel. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed these, let me know. Go ahead and leave a sub. Go ahead and leave a like. That way I can see you guys in future videos. I'd really appreciate that. I live stream every single night, just about at around 10 p.m. Eastern, which is actually where almost all of this footage comes from. I record almost all of this live with you guys which is really cool so if you want to see these happening as they happen go ahead and get involved with those live streams and then i think that's all i got so thank you guys you guys are awesome and then i'll see you in the next video that we do around here